we're back. And we're going to see if we can actually get initiative rolled instead of pseudo-cinematic times here. Um, I did answer some questions Fenway had, like, why was my magic being crappy? To which the answer was, you are throwing crappy magic. Um, a couple of Force 2 mana balls isn't going to do a whole lot to a, really anybody. Uh, and I talked to him a little bit about my my thought processes and stuff behind that. So we're gonna we're gonna see if he decides to change up his tactics. So uh, with that, let's see what let's see what Fenway is up to. See what he decided on doing. Well, I'm gonna attempt the leadership and see if I can lead them in the right direction to hurry up a bit. Okay. So you're you're trying to direct them in a specific direction? Yep, try to focus them on getting down the street a little bit quicker. Sure. Um, your buddy Roland totally picks up on it, and he's going to take his little um, his little band of dudes and start kind of following your directions. But most of the other people are kind of not exactly. They're a little occupied. Gunfights and uh, Molotovs and explosions and all kinds of other wonderful Thrill Gang stuff. So, your uh, your message is kind of received. Do I see any good targets for a big spell or... There are people but... everywhere. So you could you could try and grab a group or you could try and be a little bit more surgical, but it's up to you. And I'm going to try to be a little bit more... Can I do a perception test, see if I yeah. see anyone on their side directing? Sure. So. Let's uh, let's see what that perception test ends up with. Incidentally, like, uh, my drones are still flying above the roof, so if you saw someone, they could, you know, come up for a flanking, try to help that way. Is, is that teamwork that I hear? Yeah. <laughs> Holy shit. Uh, because, I mean, okay, so right now, I don't think my roto drones could fit inside the building. Like, can they go through and, help, like, have the assault rifle uncover the what, two in the building, and then I send my sniper rifle out to, to help start picking stuff off over you by, would, uh... You would probably have to jump back and forth between the two of them, because it's the kind of thing where uh, the auto assaults will most likely not be able to handle the tight corridor, corridors. Yeah, And, okay. like, sandbags from the rooftops and all of that kind of stuff inside that are kind of one might find inside a theater. Okay, uh, well, at the very least, I am going to send the sniper one that way, if Fenway asks. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to say we need help here to try okay. to expedite the reinforcements or the cavalry. Excellent. Now, question. Mm -hmm. uh, what side of the building are they coming from, and what side of the building is the van coming from, or is a van on? You guys are competent, semi-professional criminals. I'm going to assume that you have your choice in that, like... Okay, because I could say the Lynx rolls out and hits them from behind. Same plan. Yeah. Uh, so do you guys is... want me to do that? Go for it. Okay. Um, so, oh, yeah, uh, before I do that, though, what uh those guys I saw meandering around outside, what are they doing? What are they doing? Uh, That's a good question. Let's... Let's have you roll stealth on your roto drones. Okay. And then we'll si decide if they're shooting at your roto drones or not. Okay, so that's six plus that. Plus that. Okay. Uh, I'm going to edge that. You sure? So four successes. All right. All right, they are looking around. They are beginning to, like, break off in the groups of two or three and kind of go looking down some alleyways. Okay. Um, so I will have the rotodrone uh, go, but I'll have the Lynx stay and basically, like, be overwatching. So if they peek down, the, the Lynx is going to, you know, be like, fuck you and shoot. It's just ready to rev up and unload. Yeah. Okay. And you said the rotodrones were going where? They're going to help that way. Okay. Do you want to go ahead and roll their uh, 
Are you just jumped into it, or are they on autopilot? I'm, I'm jumped into the sniper rifle drone. Sure. Um, uh, okay. And I believe Fenway was going to roll a perception test. Is that that three hits you got there? Yep. Um. So you will see small groups of people that are running from like cover to cover and that kind of thing. Um. You will notice that there is a guy who seems to be a little more organized. Um, he, in fact, seems that he might be kind of moving around for a flank of some kind. And I uh, point that out with my comm link to uh, cross. All right. Do you want to give me that gunnery test and we'll see? Yeah. I see that. Um, so it's five plus five. Uh, okay. Oh. <sighs> yeah, got two two edge left, and this will this will speed up. Uh, I did that by accident, but that should be. I don't think that changes anything. I should nah. just subtracted a die from that. So okay. sure. So yeah, seven uh -oh. successes. So the good news is, is he's not surprised. He maybe saw the reflection of the rotor drone or something somewhere, so he's gonna uh, he's gonna actually get a dodge test. Sad face. It was such a good roll, too. Yeah, it's still a pretty good roll. <laughs> That's sixteen p minus four. Uh, no, twelve p. All right. Uh, yep. He no longer has brains. They have been splattered across the ground. <laughs> and you will notice that the guys uh, that he was with kind of scatter a little bit. <laughs> no, you, you each net each net hit you get raises the damage. Yes. Oh, okay. So oh, you were yeah, twelve sorry. plus uh, four more, four so sixteen. Yeah. And he took uh, he took thirteen p right to the dome. Okay, let me note down uh, that expended some ammo. Uh, okay. okay. Then basically over the comms like uh. Clowns should have an easier time. Get him rolling, Fenway. Is there... Can I sling a few spells still, or are you going to count yeah. that to... Sort of... no, All you, right. can, you can totally do another thing real quick. I'm going to probably just try to... I guess pick off another guy with just a mana bolt at... Uh, let's do Force 5. There, that's a little bit better. A little bit better, yeah. And that is the same, right? And a bolt, yeah, 12. All right. Not any better. No, no. That's pretty weak. And I take two points of stun. There we go. So you you do some things. Uh, meanwhile, back inside, what are you guys up to? Um, did the elevator open? Uh, did you, it started going down? So um, it is at the bottom floor, and as they are prone to do, they open automatically. And uh, mm -hmm. you will see some gunfire get pointed right into the elevator. So I'm also having in the midst of that standoff with whatever the deviceless persona is. Yeah. Did I get a message back from that deviceless persona? Um. <laughs> roll me. Do you have like etiquette? Let's let's see what happens. Yeah. The street count or no? Uh, no. Street won't count in this situation. All right, so I think... guys, it's it's okay. obviously not a not a ganger. The street doesn't work. <laughs> I mean, it's also over the internet, so. Over the internet, you can be whoever you want to be. So if that guy wants to be a ganger, oh, he can God. totally be a ganger. <laughs> um, oh, man, what terrible thing did, did this just become that Rico was trying to talk to? Because <laughs> right now so, it's got to be a thing. So, um, Splatter, I want you to get my rifle out of there if you guys. Okay. <laughs> I paid good money for that thing. So you will you will get a response of what? What? No. 
Leave us alone. Um, I messaged back. I didn't do anything. Are you uh, are you doing anything? Or are you actually sitting up there waiting to set up your grenades? I'm just waiting for someone to walk in the walk in the elevator when they realize no one's there. I mean, they their bullets walked in there. Like they definitely shot yeah. the place up. Yeah, and then they're like, "Oh, hey, no one's there." Yeah, no, it's like, "Oh, here comes the elevator, guys!" And da -da 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 -da. Mm -hmm. um, and then you know, there's nothing on the inside of there, and then it's, they're kind of confused. I send um the whoever has a mark on me a sound file and I ask him to play it on the PA. Okay. Uh, what are you doing, man? <laughs> What's the sound uh, file? Here. Cause Oh, I don't want to click that. Oh. <laughs> Rico. <laughs> I know. I'll, I'll click it on my phone because I have those earbuds in. And I will probably put it in the video description. I'm just worried about dealing with, you know, not necessarily copyright strikes because I'm basically nobody when it comes to the internet. But, uh, it's just kind of an annoying hassle. So let's just click this real quick. Make sure it's not on too high. Oh, thanks. Thanks for the warning. Something Skrillex, Bangarang. All right, we'll see how this goes as I listen to it. All right, this is terrible. Um, yeah, no, you get a you get a file that the uh, he wants you to play across the thing. You gonna do it, Handles? Uh oh no no I didn't send it to Handles. I sent it to whoever has the mark on me. Handles has the mark on you. Oh no 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 no. Yeah. Handles also has marks. Um, the other guy. You're talking about the the thing. Okay. Yeah. Um. All right. So that'll take some time to to think. Splatter, are you doing anything? Uh, I'm standing by the door, like crouched down, looking to see, like just aiming down my hand to see if anyone comes up the stairs. But other than that, I'm just like waiting for like the go signal when I can like actually start doing stuff. Okay. Well, there is definitely gunfire coming from downstairs um okay yeah no i'm, I'm just trying to because everybody seems to be in a holding pattern and it's one of those uh, things of like you guys are upstairs are like all right we're gonna get them when they come through the door and the people downstairs are like all right we're gonna get them when they come through the door <laughs> it's just like this awkward not gunfight but gunfight the mexican standoff yeah I'm gonna try to get that mark off of me. Sure. Can I throw a grenade like over the railing? Sure. Alright. <laughs> and also, what am I at for my baby monitor? Uh. 13. Okay. But yeah, no, go ahead and throw your throwing weapons, Rico, if you wanna throw lob a grenade over there. Uh, where were you trying to throw it? Just underneath to the barricades. Or anywhere I heard gunfire. Okay. Um. You do not see any grenades that do not belong to the party. I am sorry to, uh, to tell you that, so you can't do anything like that. Aww. Yeah, no. It's almost as like the one that they had on wireless behind the door, or they they did not have uh, on wireless because you know that would be making your grenades wireless is kind of suicidal. Yeah, unless you're gonna immediately duct tape them inside of an elevator and send it down. So, uh, Rob, I also want to say I have my I want to post my fly spies like at the ends of the alleyway so I can see them coming around the corner if they come. Sure. Uh, that cool. reminds me, you had a pocketed three earlier. Let me. Uh... 
<sighs> Ninjas they are not. So, uh... Your, your Lynx, was it, that was in the... Yes. In the hallway? Not the hallway, the alleyway, sorry. Uh, reports contact sighted and begins to initiate firing sequence. Okay. Uh, and that is going to be targeting plus the pilot? Correct. Okay. So... 96... Uh, this fully automatic or like it being, I don't, I mean, does that change anything? I mean, that changes their self-defense, like not their okay. self-defense, their defense pool. Okay. Uh, cause he is crime wave and this is pro yeah, this is explosive rounds. So just tearing it up Four successes. Okay. Uh, Phew. <laughs> Uh yeah, no, that's that's not good. <laughs> so you will see the these kabuki guys are gonna come around the corner like, yeah, you know, let's go find these guys. Wait, is ah, <laughs> <laughs> Um So they are surprised, so they do not get defense tests. What is the damage off of your gun, sir? Uh it's eleven AP minus three full auto. All right, so they also do not get defense tests. Well, 13, 14. <laughs> um, well, they and definitely it's a, don't get defense so. It's explosive rounds, if, if that matters, yeah. I mean, it sounds like popcorn. Yeah. yeah. Not that you oh, I totally for <laughs> oh, I, I totally forgot the uh, the two die from my smart gun, but that, it's, it's fine. I mean, it's probably not going to matter. No, I don't think so. Um. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm kind of like, as as Handles probably hears, oh, no, he's, he's in an extra space, and it's going to like shoot a text, and it's like, Handles... Uh, Guys, might have been at the van. Might be Chuck the salsa now. Where the fuck are those clowns? <laughs> They're in the building. Um. So yeah, uh, the the links will report gunfire, and when you when you look through the smoke of the the gun cam, you will notice that there are a couple of people rolling around on the ground. Because, you know, they just got shot a whole lot. Uh, can I shoot them with the Doberman? Sure. If you want to straight up murder them, you may you may shoot them with the Doberman. Well, I, if they weren't right next to the van, I, I would. Sure. Uh, and this is actually 11d6. This also has a smart gun. Uh... I'm okay with this use of murder. Also because due to proximity of hostile dudes. Five successes. All right, they are like on the ground, heavily injured, and all that other good stuff. So I'm pretty sure they're uh, they're just dead now. They were gel rounds, if it matters. They are mooks. <laughs> they only have like one damage track, sir. Okay, just making sure. Let me uh, let me subtract some ammo. Uh. So they are they are down and out. And that's un unfortunate. Sorry. That's fine. Are the clowns there yet? And all right. No, this has been like a handful of seconds. It's maybe like 12, 10, 12, 12, something like that. Four minutes? Yeah, you guys are in a roving gunfight. Most combat turns are like three seconds. So, the, uh,. The van is safe for the moment, but there's a lot of explosive sounding gunfire from there. So uh, they know where you guys are. Do yeah, that uh, what you will. I'm going to have can... the links roll farther down the alley and leave the door. You're kidding? That's there. a perfect choke point. I don't want them getting shots at the van. <laughs> and I'm assuming the, the, the clowns will be coming sooner rather than later, hopefully. Sure. Eh, they're clowns. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to advance on the persona. Sure, you may go ahead. Oh, brutal. Mm -mm -mm. So Sorry here's my that, cleany cleany. Yep. Uh, can I get a perception test from Rico and Splatter, please? Did my grenade hit the ground? Yeah, it, it totally went and exploded. And uh, 
Did I hear people yelling in pain? Uh, probably. You definitely heard bad things because you got five hits on your thing. There's like a, a, a bunch of Japanese, unfortunately. Um, you guys will, however, notice that it looks like there is a samurai man that is floating kind of translucently behind you in the air and is got a smoky, wispy katana and begins to be uh, approaching you. Uh, I shoot it. <laughs> All right. First fire complex action. Okay. Hopefully, you guys got good spirit defense or a spirit offense. I can punch it. Yeah, that's probably what it's gonna take. Is this a spirit or is this a dude? I don't know. Um, it's totally a ghost. Like it's floating. It's translucent. Like I don't know what else you would think it is. Okay, so it's a spirit. Shoot. Um, how far away is it uh, from us? Do we roll initiative or we just fire at it? Uh, we can actually just roll initiative, I guess. Uh, that would probably make more sense, right? Oops. Everybody or just them? Uh, just them. Yeah, it's only three more than me. It's only three more than me. I'm a cheating guy. <laughs> Let me just double check what I'm rolling here. Alright, so Splatter, you are up. Yeah, I'm just gonna uh, fire at it. Hopefully, it dies. <laughs> That's pretty good. That is pretty good. <laughs> dies, <Dice. laughs> except for immunity to normal weapons. What's the uh, what kind of gun and what mode are you firing it in? Yeah, it's an Aries Alpha, and that's a sing uh, semi-auto. Okay. Alright, well you got it by three, so that makes you, uh, what kind of ammo are you using? APDS. Of course, oh, so you. you're negative six, uh, 11, 14. Oh, six. weapon damage is 11P, AP minus six, yeah. So that, that was a little bit less uh, exciting than I thought it was going to be. Uh, okay, so it takes it takes some things and is not pleased. Uh, Rico, you are El Nexto. So it's standing right next to me, right? Uh, it is approaching you. It is not actually next to you yet. Alright, so I'm going to dodge roll backwards. And shoot it with a burst fire complex action. Okay. Um, so I have explosive rounds, right? I, I don't know. Is that yeah. what you got in there? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Alright, so that's like plus one rounds. damage uh, my, and another negative one AP. Um, so. Roll. cool with that um yeah okay let's uh let's see how it goes so that's 11 um you said complex burst right so negative five yeah all right you have uh you've unfortunately missed spooky ghost stupid turn. gun i blame cross Fuck you! I mean, didn't you get this gun from your contact? Or is this his gun? No, this is his gun. Oh, yeah, no, he's probably got it calibrated it all wrong. He can't do anything right. Um, yeah, <laughs> who's got the higher kill count right now? <laughs> <laughs> Who punched the guy to death? Let's see you come punch my links. Alright, so it looks like it's gonna be Splatter, since he's the top of the thing. 
Uh, yeah, that'll be eight hits as he attempts to to melee you with his ghosty samurai sword. And how do I dodge that with the uh, reaction plus intuition? But you could also, there's other options where you can drop your initiative to block it or to use your unarmed or armed combat, whatever. Are you cool with that? Ooh. Yeah, how much am I taking? Uh, let me double check. This is going to be very bad. Uh, let me double check his. Oh man. Um, if you get cut in half, try to throw your gun towards the, the, the exit so we can pick it up and leave it. <laughs> yeah, you, you probably should have blocked or parried or something. Uh, you were facing defense. 12 stun, no AP. So, soak armor and body. Ooh. You good? Yeah. Do you want to take five? Are you going to take five stun damage or spin the karma? I mean, you can. Spin it. Or sp spin yeah, it. Uh, yeah. 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 All right, so you managed to take no damage from Spooky Ghost Man. Meanwhile, uh, Splattered is up to you. Oh yeah, it's my turn again, right? Yep. That's eight hits. Man. Yep, that's it. Alright, let's uh Oh, you're like semi auto, right? Alright, he takes uh fourteen negative six again. So nine. He's not looking good. If that makes you feel any better. Someone could only hit. Be very nice. <laughs> um, Rico. All right. Riku says, "Screw this!" He throws the gun on the ground. Okay. Lights up his killing hands, and right. charges the ghost. Okay, we'll see how this goes. You may attempt to punch the ghost. All right, that's an extra plus two for charging. So if you scuff my rifle, by the way, you're paying for that. <laughs> Does it count as gang up? Um, oh, good. Yeah, Splatter friends in melee? Uh, he doesn't have a melee weapon, though. Well, I mean, he just attacked the guy. He shot the guy. Oh, no, I'm talking the ghost meleeed him, so... Oh. No, let's not, let's not do it right now, because he tried to shoot him rather than to... Uh... Alright, uh... He should be 11... So this is me punching. That is you failing at punching. <sighs> I'm sorry, sir. Uh... <laughs> Can I spend initiative to do anything? Not in this case, no. <laughs> Most of the time, the initiative spending stuff is all in a defensive method. Uh, we're gonna stick on Splatter, cause you know why not. So Splatter wants yeah. to go ahead and roll his uh, his reaction intuition against three. All the rifles fall. Yep. All right. Hey. So he. Uh... Uh, and then it comes back around to Rico for the last 
pass. Doesn't go out to Meef now? I'm sorry, not Rico. Splatter. Yes. Rico's been pretty useless, Splatter. Go ahead and put him down. <laughs> That's a, that's a pretty good roll. Splatter's got that hot dice tonight. Yeah, he's... Yeah, no, you will... dissipate the spirit. Good job, Splatter. I appreciate you. <laughs> Thank you. Um, but at least one of us can do that over job, right? <laughs> That was totally over comms. I assume so, there was like, oh shit, there's a ghost. I'm punching it. Ah, your <laughs> rifle sucks. Oh, Slider's like, I killed it. Good job. Gone. So you guys will notice that uh, when the ghost appeared and started doing stuff, um, they started moving. Like, Anyone near the elevator? No, not they're not going into the elevator. They know that nobody's in the elevator, but they're, they're, you notice that there's a couple of people heading up the stairs. Um, can I toss a grenade into the stairwell? Yes, but they're not, like, on the second floor yet, but you could totally toss it down there. Alright. Hey, let me do this. If you're gonna throw the grenade down there, let me, um, slave it to my device and let me trigger it. So Alright. at least defend it. Go for it. Can I do that? Can I slave it? You can slave it to your device. Okay, and then he actually throws it? Yeah. Okay. You want to go ahead and throw a... Uh... Oh, is that your throwing weapons test right there? Yeah. Okay. Uh, it, it bounces down the stairs. Can I see where it landed? Up from the cameras? Uh, not really, because it's kind of like bouncing in between them. It's kind of kind of a mess. Yeah. Can I but, I could see people trying to, but I could see people trying to come up the stairs. I could see when people would be around the area where it was, right? Yeah. Okay. Um, Rico will get a message back. You have terrible taste in music. <laughs> it's so, I messaged back. So, that's a no? Question mark? <laughs> uh, meanwhile, Fenway and Cross have begun to... I guess cut a swath through the uh, the Kabuki guys, trying to kind of funnel your clowns towards them. Sounds right to me. All right. Do you want to give me just like a, a gunnery test and maybe another spell casting test, and we'll see how close we can get them? Okay. No, it's not D fives, D sixes. What were you casting, Fenway, by the way? Um, the Mana Bolt at Force 5. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's it. Eight successes. Okay. Whew. Um, so you guys begin kind of systematically picking off uh, pockets of resistance and getting the clowns down kind of in the area um there may be let's say a block or so away uh let's roll they have taken some moderate losses we'll say but they are still here to here to go did you get that troll to open up with those, um, oh, with that link? But I mean, on the door to the thing, we got to get the attention of the guys in the lobby. They hit that front door to. hard. They can, uh, I mean, the, the clowns just bust in. The clowns get the, their backs. Because they're not, they're not full force because they have some people going after Rico and Splatter. Yeah, uh, no, they're, uh, kind of fortified um 
good news is, is the the Kabuki guys are getting it probably worse than the clowns are. But um, do you guys inside want to do anything, or do you guys want to just fast forward until the uh, the scatterbrains get to the door? Like, how many guys would I have seen like inside from the video before? Uh, there's probably like ten to twenty. It's kind of hard to tell. There are definitely three dudes that all look the same, though. Three dudes that look the same. Mm. So they're illusions, probably. I don't know. Anyway, um... They can be made up, remember? He said costumes, make up. They're a bunch of kabuki yeah. guys. And this is a theater. Right? I mean, we look like clowns, so it's not that terribly hard. Yo, she put love and effort into these. Cross appreciated. I feel like I feel like uh, I feel like Cross made a friend. He would totally if she has a bike, he'll totally give her a bigger discount. He likes her attitude, even though she was high as a kite. I mean, obviously, drugs are great. <laughs> Rico's gonna call the elevator back up and then back away. You're bringing okay. the grenades back up. So. Uh, uh, Handles, can you check and see if there's any marks on those grenades or anything, just in case? So, I'm moving to this area? Sure, you're just gonna ding-dong-ditch the button. Uh, yeah, um, wait, wait, is that the stairwell right there? Yeah, the little one is the stairwell. Okay. The smaller one's the stairwell. Elevator. How much, how far is from here to here? Uh, enough that you're not gonna be caught in the explosion. Alright, so I'm here. Okay. Hiding behind something. Sure. Uh, some sandbags or some other equipment. Mm-hmm. Want to make one more try at those lights? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, those lights just don't want to go off. I can't do it. I don't know why. They say I'm useless. I mean, let's be honest, Rico. You slashed them tires. That's what you've done this mission. <laughs> I killed the guy. I'll have you know. One guy. No, you did it. You knocked him out. Yeah, no, he... he was brought to the hospital. Yeah, I brought him to the hospital. Oh, shit, I didn't even kill him. No. <laughs> like, oh, god damn it. <laughs> oh, man, what am I going to do with Rico you? Rico throws another grenade off the balcony. <laughs> sure, are you aiming, aiming for anything in particular, or are you just trying to, like, bank it underneath the thing? I'm banking it underneath this thing. It's like, you shit, would, Cross is a bigger kill count. <laughs> you want to take, like, a negative three to that to see if you get it on target? Because, you know... Oh, shit. <laughs> Alright, well, good news. It's not going to fall, like, on your ledge because, you know, how retarded would you have to be to to mess that up? <laughs> uh, however, I, mean, I mean, Rico's edging that line, isn't he? <laughs> I mean, it's getting pretty close. But I don't want Splatter to get hit with it by, uh, by association. Um... So yeah, no, you you start blowing up some of their uh there's like little stadium seating. Um do you want to so go he's ahead? damaging the upholstery? Yeah. He's uh just being a, a brat basically. Um <laughs> you will get a message back of like, "Yo, just what are you doing? Just give up. You're surrounded." Um I send him back. My friends will never let me live that down. I can't believe you have friends. <laughs> I can't believe it either. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna load up my hammer. I'm gonna data spike that dude because with him all that chatting back, it's probably is a dude. I'm gonna say splatter. Can you pick up my assault rifle, by the way? Since I don't I don't trust Rico to go back and get it. Oh, yeah, if uh, uh, Rico didn't pick it up, I'd probably like holster it on my other shoulder or something. Sure, you got it. No, I grabbed it. I had it when I ran over. Okay. Don't okay. worry. You're like... You might not get it back. I'm kidding. Uh, you, yeah, I was going to say, you're going to pay me for that <laughs> damn cold inception. <laughs> and so. that's... Oh, no, it doesn't have the smart gun system on it anymore. Never mind. Yeah, it sucks. You can... Um, I'm kidding. I mean, I've... All right, so what's happening? Front forward. Uh... Handles about the data spike, your new friend. Oh, sweet. Okay, sorry. I just had to look something up. Uh, so, 11 for the data spike. <laughs> and I get what? Success! All my good rolls were earlier. Yep. Uh, 
you have failed to data spike. So, do I take the one damage unresisted, or do I get to resist it? No, nah, it is unresisted, sir. So I take one box of damage. Yep, suck it. What's my baby? What's my baby monitor at? Uh, twenty six. Oh, fuck this shit. All right. <laughs> at least he didn't get a mark on me. Yep, it is. Uh, it's probably about. Let's call it uh, 12, 15, 12, 17 or so by the time the, the, the Kabuki guys are nearly fully routed back into the uh, the theater. Um, and the scatterbrains are kind of getting up around it. Uh, Giggles is, for the first time, Fenway will notice, has a bit of a smile on his face as he pulls up directly across from the... Uh, the theater as I forget what I was saying and uh, he's like I'll be right back and gets up and goes in the back of the ice cream truck now that they're kind of the enemies in one clear area uh, can I just cast uh, chaotic world on them um, so they're like inside the building and you don't have line of sight to them oh. I think the troll is about to make a big hole though yeah um I probably had the Lynx roll out with them, but I kept the Doberman at the very least to have us covered. Sure. Along with the weapon mounts on my vehicle. You got it. You guys, uh, you guys had a couple of minutes to to set this place up. Um, you'll notice that after you guys killed the spirit really quickly, that uh, you haven't been harassed, and they're kind of just like, hmm, hmm, uh. You will see Giggles step out the back of the ice cream truck. On his shoulder is a rocket launcher. I love this guy. Um, I say hit the deck, boys. You were saying, Fenway? Um, Do we have an idea? uh, Because we said there's three guys that looked like they could be the boss. Do we have an idea where they are roughly in the building? Uh, there is one guy that is in the second floor in, like, an office. There is a guy on the first floor who is, um, kind of with everybody else, trying to fortify and just kind of, like, hold out, because it's like, uh, oh, man, what do we do? Like, they they told you you were surrounded, and, well, that, that was wrong. Is there anyone near that uh, front wall of the building that we're facing that we could theoretically hit with the rocket no, launcher? because that would put them in line of sight of Rico and Splatter. Alright. Oh, so Rico and, Rico and Splatter are, are on our side of the building, where we they're, are up front? They're inside, like... On the third floor. Yeah, they're on... And we're on, like, this side of the building, or... So Rico and Splatter are like those two circles, and I guess I should just move this whole thing. Boop. I forgot now that I have a new mouse, I can actually like draw things. There's a big old street out there. And then... Let's make this this color, and this color. And that is Giggles. As he's coming around with a, a grenade or a rocket launcher, and the guys with the who we see the majority of them are below where our guys are. Yeah, they're back in. Uh, oh, that's not how I drag you guys. They're back in this area, kind of fortifying the place a little bit. All right, I'm gonna communicate that to the scatterbrain, saying there's no one really up front in the building. They're all in the back corner. Or he wastes a rocket launcher unless he just wants to make a giant door. I mean, what do you think he's going to do? Yeah. Make a big door. Okay. Uh, just way he knows, you know, where they are. All right. So, um... The... The scatterbrains are going to, you know, prepare to... to breach and clear, and Giggles is going to take his rocket launcher and... Well, make a door. A rocket launcher goes off. The door explodes. There is bits of gravel and 
uh, shrapnel. That's the word I wanted. Kind of go flying anywhere. They pelt harmlessly off his giant's troll hide. Uh, Fenway, they kind of batter against the side of his, the front of his car. Um, and people start swarming in. Uh, Fenway's going to follow suit wherever Rome is and kind of stick behind him. And I've got my uh, my links basically on Fenway as well. Okay. Um, and I guess I have my roto drone slinking the troll. Sure, why not? He needs to look even more badass with his now know, spent yeah. rocket launcher. <laughs> uh, however, given this is about 1230 at night, and we're about to roll actual initiative stuff, um, or if you guys want, we can't... Like, do you guys want to actually roll initiative and play it out, or do you want to... Assume your power of overwhelming force will be able to handle this. Depends. Can I finally get music blasting in the background? You could have just had Handles doing it. All right, I said he's got to make his new friend do it. <laughs> <laughs> Tell him it's the only way you let him live. <laughs> Play right, my music um, or die. I'm gonna send him another song and say. How's this? It's going to be How Do You Like Me Now by The Heavy? Uh, I feel like after having your um, your front door exploded, it might be a little bit more crazy in there. Um, let, me, let me look up this song and see how terrible it is. Let me look up how much data processing I have on my uh, stuff. I sent you a link. Good, that keeps me from typing it into the search. And then he's like, if not that, um, what else can I send him? How do you, uh, <laughs> how do you tech? Oh, okay, five. Okay, we're good. Good lord. What are you <laughs> That's a to... fucking, I'm looking at my initiative for Matrix Initiative Cold. Oh yeah, no, it's a, it's a lot. That is a lot. Okay. So, um, besides music, are you trying to get anything else out of this, uh, out of this person, Rico? Uh, no. Okay. Um, so do you guys want to roll it out or do you guys want to somatic it out? Uh, I'm cinematic. Roll it. Uh, I, I think it's, or, or we can roll. I mean, hey. Well, if we roll it, it's going to be next week because it's going to take. Yeah, that's while. what I was going to, yeah, it's going to be a long time. All right, that's I cinematic. Don't this is assume Rico misses a lot, and you know. <laughs> oh no, Rico is jumping down with two grenades, one in each hand. <laughs> this is how it's going down, guys. <laughs> Don't just kill yourself. Oh no, he's throwing the grenades. Oh, okay. He's not that stupid. I mean, so I want to see. <laughs> want to see what I rolled a rolled for initiative. Okay, that's pretty good. Yeah, no, you but guys. Yeah. For for all of the baiting I tried to do to get you guys to do something, you were content to not do anything. Um, I mean, it's like 50 guys versus three. Uh, so, pro tip, those guys would be pretty garbage. But so, can I jump down? Oh, really? Oh, garbage. <laughs> well, that's I mean, my, my Lynx killed like four of them in one barrage. Yeah, that's because I didn't want to roll out initiative for Shh. for one dude who got completely <laughs> surprised. And then a bunch of dudes who weren't going to get any defense dice. So they, <laughs> they all just got murdered. Um, so yeah, no, you can totally, like a like a majestic flying jackass, jump off the, the edge with your grenades and throw them and do things. You will see chaos and pandemonium. Um, let's... Fenway, can you roll me just... Uh, Let's roll. Let's go with six dice. Let's see how good Roland does. Just gonna assume I use a blast of my sniper ammo during this fight. Sure. Sixty-six. All right. He that that's the nothing bad happens to him threshold Ooh. that I had set in my mind. Like less than that, maybe he would lose an arm. Uh, if you had glitched that, he might have died. And if you had gotten higher than about that, you know, he would have, uh, he would have been awesome and maybe gotten a, a real promotion out of it. 
Um, so we'll kind of fast forward to say uh, like 12.22 or so in the morning. And uh, the building is mostly you guys. Um, you will ri ri yeah, round uh, round up the the dudes. You will find out that one of the the three guys who look the same is the actual leader. The other ones were um, wearing makeup because you know Kabuki folks. Um, Giggles will ask him how he got those scars and then give him some scars. Uh, Damn. Yeah, he's not a happy person. All right. He, he does not laugh. Um. Might have excellent. Um. Let Let's see how that goes, Rico. You want to? Uh, you want to roll me your your edge real quick? <laughs> I don't know, this man. <laughs> I don't know his name, but he has nice guns, and if y'all kill him, I want it. <laughs> Alright. Uh, so it goes unnoticed. Um, I mean, not, like, unnoticed. Like, they definitely noticed that it was you shooting at them, but, like, it happened to be one of those situations where uh, it, it didn't look intentional. Like, had you gotten a had you gotten a hit, you would have totally gotten away with just shooting them. Uh, and had you gotten a glitch, I would have found somebody who was interesting in the gang to shoot for you. Thanks for that. <laughs> um, but yeah, you guys will be able to to wrap this up. And uh, Rico will get a message on his comlink. Oh boy. Does he open it? Um, I ask our resident hacker to check it out for me. Oh, now you want to bring me into this stuff, huh? Yeah, I gave you a grenade. <laughs> yes, true. <laughs> it wasn't even yours, it was splatters. <laughs> I used two of my grenades, by the way, guys, just letting you know. I give splatter. Hit. Wait, no, no, I don't have any grenades left. Sorry, splatter. Thank you. <laughs> Is there a data bomb on it? There is no data bomb. There is no encryption. Do you, I read does it. Handles open it, or does uh, or does he I'm... just give it back to Rico for Rico to open it? Oh, I'm gonna open it and look first. <laughs> okay. So handles inside is a message of, we did you a favor. It is time for you to do us a favor. You have two weeks. Bring us this girl. And there's a picture of a young Japanese woman. Okay, so I will hand it back to him and say, yep, no data bombs, no nothing, and not let him know I opened it. There's also some GPS-ish coordinates on there. Um, okay. Rico, that's the message that is in there. All right. I'll let you, let you do with that what you will. Um, I will give so you I take it then they actually played the music? Uh, No. That is not from whoever uh, Rico's friend was. That that persona mysteriously dropped off the Matrix when uh, the doors were officially kicked in and gunfire started inside. She's probably dead. Or he's probably dead. Uh, I was hoping for AI. Well, you should have tried to make more friends instead of trying to play crappy music. Can I trace, can I trace where that thing came from? Um... So you can like check the uh, like the matrix the, the like star six nine the the caller ID on where that came mm -hmm. from. So doing a matrix search for that will yield no results. Mm. Um. I might have met. I send um handles a message. I might have met some people the other day. This might be them. There is a uh, there is a picture. There is a GPS coordinates, and there is a uh, an additional com code with instructions to call when you uh, when you have her. Do I recognize the girl? Nope. She is uh, young, between seventeen and twenty-two. Uh, Asian. Looks to be wearing very nice clothes. 
Uh, if you want to roll your movie tropes, we can totally see what that is. Uh, she totally looks like a Yakuza princess. Rico deletes the message. Okay. Uh, Everything about it? Everything. Okay. I made a copy. That is up to you if, uh, if that is a thing you wish to do. So, on that very interesting note, we will deal with getting paid and uh, downtime next week. Can I, can I just say something, though, Rob? What's that? I think Fenway deserves an extra point of karma, because he legit had that clown school thing. Ready. You know what? I, I would totally agree with that. That is legit. <laughs> You're more than welcome to that, sir. Um, you can go ahead and put that on your thing. I'll I'll pay you guys out, Karma. Uh, yeah, no, that's fine. I just yeah. didn't want to be forgotten during the week. No, no, that's, that's legit. I am <laughs> I am a terrible at memory, so uh, I probably would have forgotten. So yeah, no, go ahead and write that down, Fenway. That was awesome. <laughs> um, and then I guess we'll pull back the veil a little bit and see if you guys had any questions about things and the ways that I did them this evening from like a GMing or game running perspective or really kind of what was going on. Like I kind of explained the, the Fenway thing that he, yeah. uh, if he put a little oomph behind his magic instead of, you know, that kind of stuff, like you could have very easily thrown out a giant chaotic world, which would have then weakened the resistance in an area and allowed them to push. And you could have, as that is a sustained spell, moved it around and kind of steered the clowns where you wanted them to go. All right. I was thinking that they were just small pockets, and I couldn't uh, contain them all. They were like small pockets. Like here's a couple, here's could... a couple. But it's like, um, if you had apply, applied more force, they would have moved quicker. Okay. Um, which is kind of why that was like, you know, here you go. The uh, I really like using a a plus one edge roll to determine some random things like. <laughs> when I asked you guys for uh, that one before we found out that the Kabuki guys knew about what was going on. You guys got five hits, and I was looking for six. Yeah, I, was, I figured that that was like most likely what tipped them off was yeah. like uh, crappy edge rolls. Yeah. Like, even if the guy didn't make a grand proclamation, like, it was a giant party of a bunch of people on drugs, like, that information is going to circulate. Yeah, no, that that makes sense. Um, um, question. Yeah. So you said that we could easily jump down and kill all those guys because they were of. low level idiots. When when you drastically outnumber them with, you know, thirty extra scatterbrain guys and a bunch of drones and everybody doing focus stuff, yes, you could have easily subdued. Like you definitely got shot. You definitely took some some ouchies in there um so uh no but like me and splatter could we like taking some of them instead of just huddled up yeah you if you guys wanted to to make some action happen there would have been action to happen um you would no, yeah i know fight. they probably would have had they would have had a cover bonus because they are behind a little bit of fortifications um mm -hmm. they would have probably been rolling like 10 dice to shoot at you maybe uh, 10 or 11 because of the cover to not be shot um, but you guys could have done stuff like you know the, the alpha has a grenade launcher you could have put a grenade in their midst to kind of scatter them or even just to destroy but, the cover uh, doesn't the grenade launcher require like mini grenades or something to use or you can just use like a normal grenade in it uh, it requires mini grenades do you not have mini grenades yeah, yeah I don't alright you need to find the, you need to find some mini grenades for you but you also need a gunnery skill to use it, right? Heavy weapons. Oh, heavy, heavy weapons. weapons. Another skill that I don't have right now. So that's why that's one of the reasons why I didn't do that. Well, you can still default on it. Like you would roll your agility a negative one, and if memory serves, your agility is like seven or eight or nine or something pretty good. Yeah, I like nine. That, I like that sniper rifle was a good purchase. Yeah, uh, they were totally super on alert the moment you, uh, like, you bricked that dude's comlink, 
and he was in the middle of a conversation with somebody, and when that conversation was like, you know, I think we're getting attacked, and then the dude you're talking to drops off the Matrix. Um, yeah, no, that that definitely kind of was like, hey, let's, uh, this is not good. Yeah, that failed stealth, that failed stealth cost us, um, and the flashbang cost us, I think, too. Yeah. Well, I, I mean, it didn't, I don't think it cost us that much, uh, I will admit the stealth was bad, but <laughs> what do you want? I'm unloading like three drones, four drones in a tiny big alleyway. Metal things. Yeah, yeah. You could have gotten your ass out and helped. <laughs> We've seen how you guys do with lifting and carrying. All right. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> we didn't have splatter there. I mean, Handel struggled with the lights like throughout the entire. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> But, I man, I was a boss starting that shit off. So you really I... did, but then you got cocky, man. <laughs> yeah, I just... yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, I'm realizing I need to definitely go and look up more Matrix stuff and uh, start look, you know, understanding how that works. Just for my stuff later on. Yeah, no, it's, uh, was, pretty... it's a digital fairyland. Um, it, it's best not to try and put any actual science to how any of that stuff works and yeah. they just kind of accept um, the um, that persona could have been any number of things and I didn't really uh, have a decision on what it could have been specifically um, when the scatterbrains got like there was totally time that I guess in particular Rico could have attempted to sway it to their side but um instead he just kept shooting shitty music at it and saying play it play it play um, it well it couldn't have been an agent right because an agent would be would require a device to run on so it really only could have been like an AI a sprite or a technomancer right from a mechanics metagame question yes the, that is the only things that it could have been however um no, I mean, my guy, I was, I'm, I'm pretty sure my guy would know those things, you know, being that this is his, like, area of expertise. Really? Does does he have some Matrix-oriented knowledge skills to, to represent that? Uh, he does. Well, I mean, I've got several Matrix-oriented knowledge skills, but maybe I'll add one specifically to this. Uh, take I mean, a look at him, because I kind of I kind of breezed through it and then moved on. Because, like, you have a corporate security Matrix defense... You have um, Matrix hanging out and with Shadow and uh, Seattle Matrix coverage. Really, the Matrix corporate security with Matrix defense would probably be the the relevant one. Yeah, that's. Um, but even then, because it's like a, uh, if it was like a Matrix security with a corp, a, diff a particular corp specialization, that would probably be a little bit lower of a threshold than just a. Uh, security with a matrix specialization because the uh, the knowledge skill itself is more focused um, that and I was kind of flip-flopping on what it could have been like we could have easily had the <laughs> the scene where you guys are sweeping and clearing the building Rico kicks open a door and there's you know a teenage girl in the bathroom trying to scrub white face paint off of herself like what do you do in that situation that could be kind of interesting um or it could have been a sprite, or it could have been a uh, more or less kind of anything. I was really hoping that you were going to hit that convergence, because, <laughs> man, that would have been great. Maybe next time. All right, well, I, I, I got, de I got de so, decent instincts. Yep. So I will see you guys later. Yep. I had a fun time. Thanks, guys. Yep. Yeah, it was great. Hey, bye-bye. Yeah. See ya. Later, All right, guys. All right. Um... Man, Rico, that is not what I was expecting you to do tonight. <laughs> what were you expecting me? I don't oh, know. The left. When you were just like left. deleted, it's like, hmm, okay. Oh no, like R Rico's an elf, and an all Jap he sees Japanese people as racist. Okay. So as soon as he says Yakuza girl, he's like, I don't care. Yeah, no, she definitely looked like it was. It was super artistic, like. Yakuza princess, nice sunset, beaches in the background. Uh, if you looked at the uh, like the geotag location, it is mm -hmm. Calfree. Oh yeah, I was gonna ask. I'm like, where is that? 
uh, California Free State. It is okay. Uh, Wait, yeah, didn't the Japanese invade that? Uh, yes. Uh, <laughs> I kind of felt bad. I'm like, Rico would delete it, but he probably put some effort into this. I don't. I mean, I halfway felt bad with what, uh, deleting, deleting the message. Oh, yeah. You, so you think like I put it for effort into it? I'm like he's he's putting me a lead here. I should probably follow this lead. Rico wouldn't follow this lead. I kind of feel bad. So here's here's the thing. Did I give you a lead? Yes. Does not following the lead also do stuff? Yes. Probably. <laughs> You're gonna be out getting noodles one day and suddenly ninjas. I feel like Rico would prefer that. <laughs> Just as an avid movie fan. Yeah. So, all right, guys. I will. Uh, I will talk. I to just you had one. The... Yeah, I yeah. just had one last question. Oh, uh, like, if I wanted to like add like shock hands for cyber implant weapons, would I like to like get actual, uh, cyber hands, or can I just get them on the palm of my hand? You can get them straight into your your fleshy meat hands if you wish. Um, and the downside to that would be. So the downside is like if you get a cyber arm. That is one point of essence. Have a nice day. And you can get whatever you want to stuff into it, into it. Because um, then your stuff starts taking up capacity. Where, like, um, let me get the actual numbers here in front of me. It's like 0 0.2 if I, uh, 0.2 essence if I, like, get, like, an alpha wave grid. Oh, uh, shock hand. Yeah, I would. I mean, if I were you, I would just do the shock cam because your agility and everything is already awesome. So getting the limb isn't going to give you benefits beyond unless you want to put a cyber gun, hide something inside your arm or something. So for, I mean, that's what I was asking. Yeah, for example, like the shock hand just at base is like point is a quarter point of an essence. Uh, if you wanted to also get like spurs, so you could have like a, a lethal option in the same arm. That would be point three. Now you're now you're halfway to what the cyber arm would cost you, um, and then dependent upon the rest of the stuff that you wanted to toss in there. Uh, for example, my cyber arm street samurai boom Hilda has two machine pistols in like a machine pistol in each arm, and a uh, the gyro the the cyber arm gyro mount so that like she kicks out these little mini weights that start spinning up to provide her uh, recoil compensation for her to shoot all of the bullets ever but he's got he's got a nine agility and there's no way he could match that with an arm uh he could totally match uh, that with an arm but it would just yeah, be no, really uh, really no. expensive i was just gonna I mean, the reason i was asking was because like i've already gone down more like a bioware route already mm -hmm. so now it doesn't make sense for me to like you know get a cyber arm yeah so i'm well, saying like cyber arms gloves? in uh in play are really expensive by comparison to like trying to save up long enough to get them. Yeah, so I was wondering like if I could get it now, like during our downtime or something, like just get like. Uh, you would need to find a a cyber doc to. Yeah. Uh. uh I can that, do I it. Mean... That is. Could you? Potentially up yeah. to you. Yeah. I'm I'm better I'm better than the cyber docs. I think I roll more dice than they do. Um, and I've got a friend who has a full facility, like a cyberware facility. So I could, I could actually install your stuff for you if you wanted. So is it possible if I could get just like get shock hands on the palm of my hand? Yeah. And I can add like spurs to it or that's not possible because that sounds a little too crazy. Uh, spurs but I can do that as well. a different implant, but yeah. You could do that. Oh my god, that's just crazy. Could you do both? Of, you can only do one per downtime, right? Or could you do both since they're in the, affected by the same... Since they're both, like, in the hand? They they could both be done at the same time. I have no problems with that. It just means you won't be able to up any physical um, uh, skills or attributes during your next downtime. But you probably didn't have points for that anyway. Oh uh, yeah, I'm just saving up my karma to actually just get like one more point of edge, and then have to save up to get my martial arts skill. Right on. So, and I don't have money for both spurs and shock hands. 
because they're both like five grand each. Oh, the other thing too is if you were up and what because you talk about it only takes one one point of karma to get a, a heavy weapon skill at one. Um, two. But oh, does two? Oh yeah, sorry, I have the I have a thing for that. Yeah, so it would only cost two karma, and um, but you can't do that in the same downtime that you get a surgery. You couldn't, well, even though it only would take two days. Rank one in the skill day. is. Uh... Like a, a day? singular day to do so. Yeah, yeah but the the downtime rules was like because I was reading them to make sure I had it right for the the last downtime. It said if you get a surgery, you can't you can't buff any uh, active skill, or the, any active skill that was physical. I feel like there's supposed to be a caveat in there about like. Uh, Um, as I try to formulate these words, like while you are, because like it only takes that surgery would do three boxes of physical and three boxes of stun to you because it's like three times the essence cost rounded up. So like that's two days of bed rest. So I, I feel like that would be okay because you're not getting something like ridiculously crazy. Right on. I'm definitely going to be adding some more knowledge skills since they're so cheap for me and I get so much bang for the buck. I'll definitely add a gang skill. I'll add a technomancer skill, detection skill. <laughs> I mean, I just said technomancer because I was like, this is just a random question. I mean, I wasn't even sure it's a technomancer. I was like, it could be a technomancer. I had I like no idea they could be like a sprite or whatever it could be. <laughs> I like using uh, Technomancers in opposition because you can't loot their cyber decks. Yeah. And also you can't uh, reboot them or you can't format them. Yeah, it's uh, a few things. It's good for anti-hack uh, on the fly deckers. Because there's not a whole... That's my. That's kind of that's my kryptonite is a Technomancer. Not exactly. I have things I could do, but still, a combat-oriented technomancer is my least would be my least favorite thing to have to deal with. <laughs> I can always shoot him for you. Yeah, that's that always works really well. Bullets to the head is the best way to deal with mages and technomancers. This is true. Teamwork. <laughs> All right, night guys. I need to. Yeah, it's like yeah. Night guys. Yep. I'll see you. Yeah.